Before I get started, I'd like to kindly ask that you hit the like button and please subscribe to the channel for more content just like this. Do or do not. There is no try. Oh, what's in the box? If it's a severed head, I'm going to be very upset. So I've been wanting to update my movie rating system for a little while now. I'm not really changing a whole lot because overall I do love the way that I have it set up, but after reviewing a couple movies that I wasn't quite sure where to place them, I quickly realized that I needed one more tier. And this tier will basically be for guilty pleasures, meaning movies that are admittedly flawed but I still find pleasure in them anyway. Sometimes that could mean movies that are so bad that they're actually good, if that makes sense. I recently reviewed a movie called The Tomorrow War, which would probably fit nicely in this tier. So the next step was to come up with a name for this tier. So I have my buddy OG fan when Star Wars was just Star Wars to thank for this. He told me about how the term guilty pleasure was first used in New York City to describe brothels. I swear this is going somewhere. You gotta be out in a convertible while bird dog and chicks and banging beaver. What are you doing here? <laughs> So my guilty pleasure tier will affectionately be called the cat house. So when you hear and see this, saved by kitty litter. <laughs> you know that when you watch that movie, you're going to have a filthy and yet possibly pleasurable time. The rest of my tiers will remain the same. So if you need further explanation on them, the rest of this video will be a re-upload of the video that I already put out explaining my movie rating system. Thanks for watching as always and enjoy. What I do on this channel mostly is review movies. And one thing that I've told with in the past is different ways of rating movies when I review them. I've used the scale of 1 to 10, I've used the scale of 1 to 5, but when I use those scales, I always found myself comparing movies that aren't really comparable. I'd be like, if I gave this a 10, then I have to give this a 9. It just causes too much confusion, and honestly, I find that scale to be pretty boring. I also tried a much more simple approach by either recommending a movie at the end of a review or not recommending it. But a lot of times when you're reviewing movies, it's just not that cut and dry. There's good movies and bad movies, sure, but there's also bad movies that you look at as guilty pleasures. And there's good movies that don't have a lot of rewatchability. Hell, I even watch movies that don't cause a reaction in me one way or another. So my goal for 2021 was to come up with a new movie rating system that works for me and is unique to the channel. That makes sense. So without further ado, this is the rating system that I will be using for all future movie reviews. This goes for new releases and retro reviews. So I, like many movie fans, love movie quotes. So I wanted to incorporate clips of some of my favorite movie quotes in the rating system in some way. And the first tier in my rating system will simply be called the Bill and Ted. So when you hear and see this at the end of a movie review, Excellent! You know that's a rating I will only give top tier films, in my opinion. We're talking masterpieces, like movies that I'm going to purchase, because you can see I love my physical copies. And I'm going to watch these movies over and over again for years to come. And it should be noted that they may be perfect to me, but not necessarily perfect to you. This rating will also be reserved for older films that obviously had a huge influence on me. The second tier of my new system will be the Pleased Palpatine rating. Good. Good. This will be reserved in general for good or even great movies that I don't necessarily deem perfect, but in some cases they may be pretty damn close to it. Or they may at least have more good things in them than bad. It should be noted that movies in this rating could also be something that I'd consider purchasing. Like, I thoroughly enjoy that movie, but I can also recognize that it has its issues. And it's okay to do that, by the way. The third tier in my rating system is the careless Sam Gerard. I don't care! This will be reserved for the movies that I spoke about before. The ones where I watch them and I don't have much of a reaction at all. Which can sometimes be worse than a bad reaction, because sometimes with a bad reaction, at least you felt something. Although that's not always the case. And now we're getting into the real garbage. Because my fourth movie rating tier is The Angry Rocky. That's right, it stinks! I've actually used this to describe some movies on the channel already. Basically, this is going to be reserved for overall bad movies that might not necessarily be unwatchable, but they are pretty damn close to it sometimes. This is the tier where regrets start to creep in and I start to think about whether or not I paid for this movie or not. And now, we've reached rock bottom. The tier reserved for the real dog shit, or in this case, Triceratops shit. The final and worst rating I could give a movie is going to be called The Disgusted Ian Malcolm. That is one big pile of shit. This ranking is for those movies I deem unwatchable. The movies that make you physically ill and you wonder how they ever got greenlit. Basically, the abominations of cinema. So that's my new movie review ranking system. Let me know what you think about it in the comments down below. As always, please like, comment, share, subscribe to the channel, hit that bell for notifications, and I'll see you next time right here on Real Shift. Thanks for watching. Peace out. Y'all be cool.
Kanan.